Gentlewoman from Hawaii is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to thank my uh, friends, the uh, gentleman from American Samoa and the gentlelady from Florida for their kind remarks in support of this resolution. I rise today in support of my resolution commemorating the canonization of Father Damien de Voister, a member of the Congregation of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary, to sainthood this past Sunday, October 11, 2009. We can all celebrate the life of Saint Damien, a man who put his faith and principles into action in the service of a group of people who suffered not only the physical effects of leprosy, now known as Hansen's disease, but also from the terrible stigma associated with the disease. Father Damien is recognized for his 16 years of selfless service to the people who were forcibly isolated on the peninsula of Kalaupapa on the island of Molokai, Hawaii, because they were diagnosed with Hansen's disease. Living among the people of Kalaupapa from 1873 to 1889, he eventually contracted the disease, ultimately died from its effects, and was buried on Molokai. The policy of exiling persons with the disease that was then known as leprosy began under the Kingdom of Hawaii and continued under the governments of the Republic of Hawaii, the Territory of Hawaii, and the State of Hawaii. Children, mothers, and fathers were forcibly separated and sent to Kalapapa, which for most of its history could only be accessed by water or via a steep mule trail. Children born to parents at Kalaupapa were taken away from their mothers and sent to orphanages or to other family members outside Kalaupapa. Hawaii's isolation laws for people with Hansen's disease were not repealed until 1969, even though medications to control the disease have been available since the late 1940s. I believe that all people, regardless of their religious beliefs, can recognize truly extraordinary persons who give of themselves without reserve for the betterment of their fellow human beings. Father Damien was surely such a person. No sickness was as feared as leprosy in the late 1800s, but he volunteered to serve at Kalaupapa and requested to stay there in order to serve those who were most shunned. He recognized the human rights and inherent dignity of, of all people, especially those he lived alongside at Kalaupapa. Father Damien worked with the people of Kalaupapa to improve their living conditions. A skilled carpenter, he led in the building of houses and hospitals, six chapels, a home for boys and a home for girls. At the same time, he ministered to the spiritual and physical needs of his parishioners and helped to bury the hundreds who died during his years there. It is noteworthy that shortly after Hawaii became a state, Father Damien was the first selection of the state legislature to be memorialized in a statue as part of the National Statuary Hall in Washington, D.C. Despite the fact that he was not born in Hawaii and lived so long ago, Hawaii's people recognized that his life embodied the true spirit of aloha, which means love, compassion, mercy, grace, and malama, which means to care for. Last week in Louvain, Belgium, prior to the canonization, some 400 Hawaii residents, including 11 former Hansen's disease patients from Kalaupapa, attended a mass with the King and Queen of Belgium near St. Dam Damien's birthplace. Addressing those who came all the way from Hawaii, Cardinal da Daniels, a native of Belgium, said, We gave life to Father Damien. You gave him back as a saint. We thank you.